Well, I've strewn lots of tritelia bulbs here and there throughout our lawns. So in a few years' time, we should have, well, dozens and dozens, if not hundreds or thousands. I like the pure white ones, like little snowflakes, aren't they lovely? So beautiful. Oops. Pure white tritellias. All over the place. In all sorts of secret places I've put them. And I just keep multiplying over the years. Multiplying and multiplying. There's one, another little tritelia just here, that's a pure snowflake, isn't it gorgeous, gorgeous. More, more white tritelias, there goes the gardener with his wheelbarrow, look at it, isn't it gorgeous. I love them, it's so beautiful. Just pure snow white. There's another one. I say the more the merrier. There's a whole host of white tritellias. They're going to multiply around that tree in years to come. There's going to be hundreds of them around this tree. They do look like a dear little wildflower, don't they? They really do. They do. Dear and beautiful little Tritelia. Aren't you lovely? Show us your face, aren't you lovely? Beautiful little white Tritelia. So delicate. Here's another. Here's another. Beautiful geometry. Aren't they? So the aim is, so the aim is when I go in a walk around my garden, I'll have all beautiful tritellias all around my pathways. It'll be lovely. Go away, fly. <laughs> Here's a whole batch of white tritellias I put in. They're yet to bloom, but they're going to do well and they are very drought resistant so I shan't have to worry about them. Look at them, so lovely. Beautiful. So here we are, just surrounded by beautiful tritellias. Come on, show your face into the sunshine. I'm so lucky, aren't I, to have all this so beautiful.